I have to go up there? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, you got this. I talk a lot, but I don't do well. Well, hang on one second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, gonna go. I'm Story Sharp with Storybook Cafe, and this is nothing against anyone. My question is, um, it they're going to get a loan for this amount of money, and they're going to get a grant for signage and um, marketing. Where was that when we were starting? I'll be here 16 years in November. I just don't quite understand what, what's going on here. And like I said, no offense. Please don't take offense. Um, some of us businesses, there's other new ones that are here too that have been putting a lot, a lot, a lot of our money into this for a lot of years. And we've worked very hard. I don't understand where all of a sudden these loans are coming from. Was there something we weren't a, we weren't a, a we don't, didn't know about that we could apply for? You know, um, I don't know. It's just a little bit much for me to think that she's going to get fifty thousand dollars when I just spent all that money to redo my whole front step so that everything was good. So, and like I said, I'll be sixteen years next month. I, I, and where do we have to apply for it? Please let me know. Please inform us. That's a good question. Yeah. So let me explain a couple of things. Mm -hmm. um, we're not the same council we were. I understand that too. Ago. But here's here's the explanation. Let me finish here. Economic development is a very interesting part of the city. Mm -hmm. We have had no intention in Glen Rose for a while to bring people, to promote them, to get them here and mm -hmm. assist them. Now, to your point of is it available to others? It, it is. And okay. if you have needs and you have shortfalls within your business, or if you want to expand and add a beer garden, those kind of things, you certainly come to our city administrator and address it. But that's part of the question. I want you to, to rebut the rest of it. Yeah, and look, it, it's always hard to look in the mirror. I mean, obviously I wasn't here or anything like that when you started, but um, you know, when you, when you think about the types of businesses that you're trying to attract to help the overall town square. Okay. You know, well, Donnie just opened a new business here. Did you offer it to her? Well, again, this is nothing against her business, mm -hmm. but there are certain businesses that we need in this town square. So we need some more restaurants. Well, we need absolutely. some more sandwich shops. We need some more coffee shops. We need some more stuff like that. In the good. town square, we did. Uh, in my uh, opinion, uh, yes. Okay. I mean, we don't, you know, we struggle to get, we, we have a million cars that drive right by your business, and you've got one of the most successful businesses. Yes, sir. And I work town hard square. For Absolutely. And, but we struggle to get people to stop, to get people, you know, we struggle bringing locals, honestly, from the county to eat in our restaurants downtown. You know, we keep hearing, I can't be open, I can't be open, I can't be open because there's not enough business. There's not enough business. There's not enough business. When do we ever change it? So look, if you, you know, and, and this is a Troy Hill, I mean, like we've got people doing economic development studies right now of our town. And I've met with them and they work with cities and communities all over the country. And in my conversations with them so far, after they looked at our town and they were doing a complete analysis of the whole town, not just the town square, but it was restaurants, 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 restaurants. And, and, and I'll tell you, that's hard for you to understand, I get, because you see it as competition. No, I don't. But I respect competition. And that's, I hope you understand that. I am not taking it as that. It's not about the competition. It's about what's right is right. Okay. If, if they're going to get $10,000 for signs, I need a new sign. Then let's do it. Let's do what's right for everyone. Let's do it right. What's right for her. She's getting a new marketing set. Okay. You say she's not a restaurant, whatever. Let's do it for all the businesses then. I mean, obviously a council makes that decision. I would not recommend it quite frankly. Um, and, and it's, it's short, not, short, and, and, there. and that's Thank not, there. look, what I'm, what I'm saying is, on your sign, absolutely, come fill out a permit. We are working with businesses that have been here. We are providing. Really? Because I talked to several today. Trisha Sexton didn't know about it. Well, La Vita didn't know about it. Uh, 
Cassie, who just opened the ice cream shop, I know that's not on the square, but I talked to her. None of them knew about this. None We've got 14 businesses. Really? Absolutely. For a $250 sign versus a $3,000. Hold, please. Hold, Wait. please. Thank you. Which be, okay, that's fine. I will not argue. I'm not going to argue. Well, I'd be glad to meet with you. And we'll my start. question is the same. Okay. I'd like to know what 14 businesses there are because I spoke to the ones on the square today and I talked to every one that was open today. Yeah. No one knew that this was even on the agenda, that it was even a fact that you could get help. Okay, uh, we have a comment from Cap, from uh, Mayor Pro Tem, please. That was actually the, the direction that, that I was going from a comment perspective is what I would like to see is we've talked about. So first off, we didn't have this ability until recently. We passed this. We had to pass an ordinance to be able to get into yeah. these three eighty agreements. So just that, so that's relatively new, a couple of years, maybe three. Um, but we have been talking about creating a program in which we have particular criteria that need to be met. And whether you're new or whether you've been here for 50 years, if you meet that criteria, then you're eligible for that. Yes. And so that is something that's underway. And so that was going to be my comment with this is I would like this to be the first that then we set those kind of parameters so that we go, okay, if it's on the historic square, if it's this kind of thing, if it's that, then it falls into this, this tiered system so that we just kind of have, so then there isn't, cause the perception is, picking and choosing randomly. And in full transparency, we are gonna pick some businesses over some others because we have to make sure we have the kind of businesses and the kind of balances that we need. So it isn't gonna be even Steven across the board because we have to think holistically, but it shouldn't be, well, you know, I like having coffee with this person and I don't this one and we shouldn't even have that perception. So by creating this, using this as the foundation for a very clear, protocol that hey here's the tiers here's the criteria based on this criteria you fall into to this it could include things like what's the sales tax revenue generated etc and so that already we've had conversations understand yeah yeah so that we'll have we, we already had conversations about doing that and that was going to be my my ask or direction for this is i'd like this to be okay this falls into what what tier and then use that as the baseline for creating our tiers and and getting them done um because that that's going to be the thing that just gives everybody the confidence that although there will always be some discretion in it there has to be but at least there's a baseline and understanding where where these different requests are coming from or what buckets they can fall in you know one one comment i'd like to make sure i understand your position but we're here to develop and grow the city in a controlled manner and do what's right for the city the businesses that are right highest and best use of real estate that has no highest and best use but we do have a product and a company that can come in there that I think can develop it. And I, I really believe it will bring more people, hopefully for a launch and storybook or anyone else. But this is about our city, our growth, controlling it for the right businesses. And if someone needs assistance, if you need and you want to talk about a sign, I'm telling you, come over here and talk to, to Troy and, and y'all discuss it and see what it is. We're here to help everyone. Now, given that, we are looking for people that need assistance, that are having some issues, that we can get them started. And I have no doubt, and no slow that we're going to make. It's fully secured. We can't lose. That's not the question. The question is bringing those businesses here. We really want to do it. We want to drive. Yeah. I just have one point of clarity. Yeah. He said three years. It's been like three months. No, 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 no. The 380 agreement I did with Michael Lemons. Yeah, Michael Lemons started the 380 mm -hmm. agreements here. But that she was referring to. Okay. You have to establish a 380 agree uh, ordinance to even get into 380 agreements. Okay, so yeah. the stuff that Troy brought, the incentives and all of that. Yeah, no, I said this, yeah. yeah. No, I'm talking about the 380 yeah. program. We okay. we just established the 380 program. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that people yeah. didn't think it was been around for yeah. a year. Sure. I just want you to know yeah. yes. Yes, I have worked in this community more than the 16 years that Storybook has been here. I also with the newspaper prior to that. And my whole goal then was to bring in businesses, bring in people, let's build our community. That was I'm all, I have always been about community and I'm all there for it. So I understand all that. And I've been to many, 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 many of these meetings, county meetings, everything's meetings. I'm not ignorant to that. So y'all changed a lot. There's some stuff that's different, but uh, oh, one thing I think you need to do is let your business owners know, make people aware of what's going on because those of us that are here that have been working our asses off, excuse my language, feel like we're being sh shot. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. 
I, I, I really, we all recognize that. But once again, um, the successful businesses that are here that don't need help. We, we all need help. Well, yeah, me Everybody too. Everybody I mean, needs I, help. I, I could use some even, help too. You know, even just, in the best of times, you need help. We, if you have something, if you have a concern, and spread the word, please. If you have a business, you have something, <laughs> within reason, bring it to our attention. We want to help businesses. We want to support our businesses. We don't want to see anyone shut their door. And we want to see new businesses. Right, Troy? I understand that, too. Yeah. No doubt. So, and I, I would just tell you, also, we talked about trying to form a restaurant group. We've got one for the merchants downtown. So, you know, they may hear things that you don't hear and other restaurant owners don't hear. Now, Trish has been to a couple of them. But so I don't know she why wasn't she wasn't aware today. Of any of it, um, she may not have been aware of any, but we've talked, and I'm pretty sure she was there when we talked about the downtown sign. Mm -hmm. But you know, we need one for restaurants. We've got one for hotels. <coughs> we've got one for downtown merchants. We need one for our restaurants because great, they yeah. have. You guys have different issues than the downtown merchants or the hotels. So I did not mean to take one. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll so guarantee you, you'll be in there for it. Okay, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm trying to run away. I really right would like to go down. <laughs> so, sorry, just, just one, one point of clarification. There was a program probably seven, eight, nine years ago, council action put in, where they were supporting businesses for $100 a month, businesses that needed it. And La Vida was one of the beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. So if he forgot it, then okay, that's an issue. And but, I don't but, know who but, I spoke to when I was in there. But my, my, the my bigger point is we want to be strategic about the businesses that we want to continue to support and develop. You make a great sandwich. I love it. I I can't eat there all the time because I shouldn't eat there all the time. <laughs> I, I appreciate and, you know, that. But, and that's not what I'm asking. No, 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 no. But my point is if you have a plan, you have a need, you have something that we could help you with because you're a very good anchor tenant in the in this downtown area that provides a, a sandwich during the downtown where nothing else is. Mm -hmm. So we want to support you. We want to help you grow your business. If you've got bigger plans, something else you want to do, George is all ears. I, and I appreciate that. You do understand where I'm coming. I'm not just coming yeah, from my restaurant point of view. I'm no. coming from the other ones that yep. also have businesses. Yep. There's there and there's there yep. and there's yep. there. Yep. There's other ones that and have businesses that I'm, it's just and all message, of us together. The message is the same. That are yep. working. We the all work together. The message is the same. George okay. is listening. Okay. I want to help you. Okay. If you have a plan, I want to help you. It's not. Now I'm not an election for another year. That's got to breathe easier now. That's story. Thank you for your yes. passion. I tell you, Senator Porter. <laughs> Forming a restaurant coalition. <laughs> okay. Let's get some conversation. Let's right. let people know what's out there. Okay. Oh, we still want a cream cheese croissant. And we still yeah, want. I understand. Yeah. I will tell you this. Just go try the biscuits and gravy. Okay. 